Pichicho into weather. Kamaka Pili. We are officially in the single digits, nine days before hurricane starts. Again, that is June 1st. If you don't already have those, make sure your emergency kits are prepared. As we take a look into our new week, it's going to be mostly beautiful conditions. We have an, an increased threat of our ua, our rain. That's going to be taking place mainly during the afternoon hours, and all has to do with our winds. First, let's get to the, the, the nalu, those waves outside, if you have the chance. We're looking at a nice bump for the north and west-facing shores, three to five up north, two to four for the west. And we're also going to be having a series of bumps down of the south facing shores keeping it above seasonal average right now two to four footers that should be increasing as we get into the middle of the week two to four also for the east facing shores now it's all about the makani it's all about those winds unfortunately as you see those lines coming up from the south easterly direction we're going to have more of the trade wind flow for hawaii island but from that point moving towards the west especially with maui blocking it we're going to have more lighter winds and more variable conditions for the rest of the state so that's going to change our trade wind pattern that focuses showers on the windward sides during the morning and evening hours towards afternoon showers for the inland and leeward areas due to the afternoon heat. In addition to that, we also have this upper level disturbance. We see a couple of these thunderstorms flaring off of Hawaii Island earlier today. We can see that with those black plumes popping up. Well, this disturbance will slowly start to move towards the east. Unfortunately, as we look in the forecast of this coming week, there's a series of uh, upper level disturbances that will continue to move over the island. So that threat for Hawaii Island for thunderstorm activity doesn't just remain for tomorrow. We're looking that's going to progress all the way through Friday. In terms of shower activity, again, mainly going to be the afternoon hours during uh, the showers for the lin leeward and inland areas. But once we come to Tuesday, we're going to see more of these greens start to flare up. That's when one of those upper level disturbances will move over the islands. And in, in particular, Oahu has the greatest threat right now looking to have the heaviest downpours potentially. So keep an eye on that. Taking a little highlight to Hawaii Island for Hilo, we're seeing those afternoon showers really flare up around the four o'clock area uh, hours. The winds, again, will will remain light, taking it to the opposite side of the island for Kona, of course, those afternoon showers, but that's going to be increasing, especially with the cloud coverage from around 2 o'clock through the 4 o'clock hour and start to ease off once we get into the darker hours of tomorrow night. Now, in terms of the humidity, really going to be increased for Monday, Tuesday, as mentioned previously. The e easterly trades look to be returning around Wednesday evening into Thursday, and that's when things slowly start to get cooler, but then a new cold front is going to be starting to approach, and that's going to disrupt that wind flow as we get into to next weekend, so enjoy it while we have it. But again, summer is right around the corner, so turn those fans on high if you need to. Sam, give it back to you.